I've been out here for about an hour. No luck fishing. But I was just getting ready to leave. I was walking up the trail here and I spotted this. And it's it's not just a regular horseshoe like somebody would leave hanging up over their door. This is an actual horseshoe. It's been there long enough the tree roots are growing over it. This is an actual shoe that an actual horse wore because it's still got the pins in it. And it's really rusted. It's probably not all that old. But I don't you don't really see horses around here all that often. So uh, I, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe it is old, maybe it's not. I don't know. Still gonna be out here fishing for a while. Hopefully I'll get a fishing video out of all of this too. Uh, no luck yet. But uh, all the rains in the past week or so uncovered that horseshoe I just found a little while ago. And it's still got the, the tacks in it from the horse's foot. So it's one that was actually worn. And it's pretty corroded and rusted. It's probably been there for a while. Like I don't. I don't want to say it's from like Texas Revolution or something like that, like 1836, but that's not completely unheard of either. Uh, my guess would be it's probably from a parade horse from the 50s or 60s, the, when they had parades through here. That would be my guess. I'm not a, a horseshoe expert. I'm not, uh, not an expert on history like that. So, uh, but it's still a pretty cool find, and you don't usually find ones that were, like, you, you see people with horseshoes in their house for good luck all the time, but they usually weren't actually worn by a horse, or they're usually not even a real horseshoe. <laughs> There's a spinner bait directly above me here. Wonder how they how they did that. Try to hook up. They did that, but huh. yeah. not a bad spinner either. It's fairly new. It's brand new. Uh, plastic head on it though. It's not a very expensive one. Hanging on the power line above me. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I never even noticed there was a power line here. There's uh, sinkers and weights, all kinds of stuff up there. How does that even happen? This is why you don't cast directly over your head. You do sidearm actions. But yeah, this thing is brand new. All right, the. The hook that was on there that came on this little spinner was a plastic rattle hook. Uh, it also had the uh, little split tail grub on it and that did not come off. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try to rig this worm here. It's actually a torn worm. It's missing its tail, but I don't care. I'm just going to rig this on there. See, maybe it'll work. That ought to do something. Oh my God. That was a huge fish. I hope that came out. Uh, 
I'm not sure that was a bass, but that was a huge fish. All right, uh, just got back from a day out there. Didn't catch any fish, but uh, if you're watching this part, you probably saw the top water strike I got on the spinner, uh, which I think it was a catfish, but I couldn't really see what it was. It was just a big splash. Anyway, uh, a horseshoe. Uh, when I was done, it was still kind of early when I gave it up. It just got too dark to record, but it was only about 8 o'clock. So I stopped somewhere, uh, somebody I know that knows about horses and horseshoes. And they said this is actually, it's, it's a lot older than I original. My original guess was from the 50s or 60s. Uh, but they said this is actually hand forged by a blacksmith. So it's from maybe the turn of the century or before, which means this is could very well be an old old Wild West horseshoe from the cowboy days and all that, and the, probably the, the Indian Wars and all that, or the Spanish-American War. Well, maybe not that one. Uh, somewhere around there, probably from the 18... They guessed anywhere from 18... from the Civil War to about 1900, so... Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, not that there were any Civil War battles or anything around here that weren't. But, I mean, it's possible the Alamo was occupied by the Confederates at one point. There was an armory during the Civil War. Uh, so this, there's no telling what it's from, but it's at least 100 years old, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to get it hung up on my wall somewhere.